Hi guys, welcome to this week's vlog. This week we are taking you to a Michelin star restaurant for our Valentine's Day meal. It's a day late, but I've been wanting to get into this place for years. Managed to get some availability last week. Don't ask me how. They're closed on Valentine's Day, so we're going a day later. So I'll be able to show you some of the dishes, but it is a taster menu. It is extremely weird. Probably gonna be eating things like pigeon, strange birds, do you know what I mean? They love, they love a local bird if it's a Michelin star restaurant, so we'll take you along each course and then um, hopefully it will be the best meal of our life for what we're paying for it. Just have my hair done because I thought this is the last video of my laughing. This is the last V-Day before baby. So we wanted to make it something special. Last night I just did a HelloFresh meal and it was actually really nice and romantic, wasn't it? We had the candles, a bit of a, what was it, a penne? Creamy penne, my lovely. And had a local bird. <laughs> And Joe, what a local bird. What a local bird. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go home now, put some false nails on because, ew. And uh, set off about five. It's quite an early meal. Yeah, and I might just put an eye on because this is not, it's not giving me the vibe. I need a special eye on for tonight. Long Clume is the only triple Michelin restaurant in the Northwest. This is in the South Lakes and it does look like a cottage, so you have to look very carefully for the sign on the door. It's also very hard to park, so we parked at a nearby race course. And it's a very quaint village, so there are no street lights. Inside, it sort of looks like an English traditional pub. We thought it looked so much better in person, as opposed to online and on this camera right now. The lighting was beautiful, you just can't really tell here. Oh, it's gone, you're eating it. <laughs> This was a snack that we began with. This is a beetroot tart washed down with a cold beetroot soup. I'm not going to read out the exact menu because I think I'll be here all day. <laughs> this is a pig and smoked eel sweet corn fritter. Really, really nice. And then our favourite course was this cheese on toast. Basically like bread and butter pudding and a cheese toasty mixed together. Food like this gives me life. I couldn't believe how excited I was for each course to come out. This was my least favourite course because I was pregnant and I couldn't eat any raw deer, so they left it out of mine and I had buckwheat instead, which is basically like a couscous. However, the cutlery and bowls were incredible because they have a guy that makes each by hand and it takes him about two hours per knife, so we were wowed by all the crockery that kept coming out and the waiters were very proud to tell you where it comes from. Next up was a scallop with truffle. I really enjoyed this. I would never choose that on the menu usually. We then had a seaweed custard with oysters. I didn't even realise I was eating oysters at this point because they read it out to you and you kind of don't take it in. Um, but it was still delicious even though it's called seaweed custard. What really stood out for me is that they offered me a non-alcoholic pairing as if you were having wine. But instead it was fruit juices and kombucha and different teas and the sommelier would describe the flavours and tell you where it came from. So just like you were having wine. This is Cornish cod and underneath there are prawns and shrimp which were well hidden. And by the way, they went through everything to check that it was all safe for my pregnancy before we ate. So that was brilliant. Slight issue here is they brought this out and we thought we were having an amazing massive course, but they were just showing us how they cook duck before we ate a duck heart. So <laughs> that was a bit disappointing. Thank you. <laughs> Here's the duck. These are duck fat crumpets. And this is duck heart, which I can't believe we're about to eat when we live in a village of ducks. Stuffing that before when needed to give her hand. Wow. All your snacks and the things like that, show this is from that one. But also, they have quite their own dishes. Same with pastry. They've got all the same with pears. On to desserts. This is a camembert ice cream, which I have to say was a little bit too weird for me. I love camembert, but as an ice cream, it just didn't work for me. And I also got a bit of a shock when I realised the bowl was completely frozen. Everything they present the food in is 10 out of 10. It's a shame I've had to voice over everything, but it was so loud in there. This is a pumpkin cake with dehydrated rhubarb on top in the shape of a leaf. Can you get any fancier than this? 
We then thought it was the end of the desserts, so we opted for the extra cheese course. We didn't realise there were more desserts after this, so be aware of that. You get to choose which cheeses you like, and this one right at the end was bubbling. It was so nice and melted, and that's a truffle cheese, which is an extra £12 supplement. And then this dessert has their logo on top. This is called Anvil, and it's a caramel mousse. The last course was some amazing ice cream, some chocolates, and some pebble stones. This was really special. The presentation is just unbelievable out of this world. Oh, and I think there was a crumble in that sack. It was actually just called sack on the menu, but it was very sour, so I gave that to Joe. So we stood outside the restaurant, and this is a separate booking in here. It's a chef's table, so just one table can book in there, and then the restaurant is here next to it. So if you have an even more special occasion, then book the chef's table if you can get in. Back through Cartmel now. Extremely dark. My review on Long Clume is that it's a very special place to go. We tried to get in for a long time and managed to find some availability. The attention to detail is amazing. So they pick everything from their own farm from three till five that day. So you know you're getting the freshest ingredients. Everything is top quality. And Simon Rogan is a great chef that's very particular with changing of the seasons and changing of the ingredients. Looking at the price for the wine pairing, I can see how this can seriously add up because you're paying quite a lot just for the food alone. So I'm glad that we went for the non-alcoholic one. But the way we justify it is that we are huge foodies. So this is an experience, like say if somebody paid for a day out to go abseiling or snowboarding. This is our passion and we enjoyed every minute of it. So thank you, Long Clum. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the service, which was obviously incredible being a triple Michelin. It is a little bit pretentious if you get up they do push your chair back in and fold your napkin again but the way that they act with you they can still have a laugh with you and it's not too awkward so i really enjoyed that aspect of it and on the kitchen tour they actually showed us that there were 16 chefs working in that kitchen to make pieces of art basically and there were 22 front of house if i got that right and the restaurant is not big neither is the kitchen so it is a seriously smooth operation so i hope you enjoyed this review of long Clume in the lakes and don't forget to subscribe for more videos i'll see you next friday bye guys